Right now, several TSA agents are getting ready to protest again this time ahead of the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority board meeting. Today, members will decide whether to move forward with plans to replace TSA workers with private security. News 6 reporter Ezzy Castro spoke to travelers about what this could mean for them. TSA workers passing around these flyers out here today, spreading the word about today's vote. And I spoke to some travelers who say that even though it would be nice to have shorter lines, at the end of the day, they want safety to be priority. A busy morning as usual at Orlando International Airport, but it could all possibly change if airport officials decide to move ahead with plans to eliminate the TSA and go with private screeners instead. Supporters say private screeners could cut down on wait times, something that caught the attention of Apopka native Hannah Blackwelder. I think prefer to have a shorter process, of course, because everybody just wants to get going on their vacation or wherever you're heading to. Um, but I don't want to compromise security at all. Critics, though, including the union for TSA workers, say making the switch could put safety at risk. Elisa Brinkman from Germany tells me she loves traveling to the United States and does not mind the strict security guidelines TSA goes by. I'd rather be safe, um, but I understand if you're like a business traveler that you'll be bothered by it, but um, I'd rather have an extra 15 minutes in a line than feeling insecure. More than 20 airports across the country are already using private security. Board members could get the ball rolling as early as today to make OIA the largest to make the change. I think like speeding up the process for me is huge and um, while maintaining like security and hopefully improving it. At Orlando International Airport, Ezzy Castro, News 6.